Hi, how you doing? Welcome to Lexus of Pembroke Pines. My name is Otanya Lantigua. Just call me OT. Now we have here the ES350 with the GS350. Two different cars. I'm sure you I can do a little bit about the vehicles. Now, ES350, luxury looking car, very nice. All right, you do have a nice sleek look on the car. You have the aggressive sport style with the chrome, uh, the chrome grill. Uh, the sport in the bottom, which is real nice. Now, we have it over here. You have the AMG wheels. These are optional, of course. You can add this to the car, which is pretty nice. Vince will do that, or we'll do that here for you. Lights on the side also for uh, side indicators, which is pretty nice. Open up the car here. You have your wood trim, of course, leather interior uh, with uh, darker wood on the inside. Available navigation. Uh, that's not standard in the Mercedes brand. That's the something that you gotta pay for additional. You do have here uh, nice five passenger seating. A rear back seat. Now look at the back seats here. Uh, they're comfortable. Now you see they're they're pretty linear. They're not as thick on the back seats. They're still nice, but again, the German ingenuity uh, doesn't gear too much more about the seating area in the vehicle. Now you do have a sporty ride uh, with the tires you have on here. It would be a sportier feel, more road feel to the car. Uh, Keynote: the smaller the tire, the more road feel. The sportier the look, of course. Now look into the back of the car. The dual pipes in the back, the chrome tip, they're nice. And also the back sensors, which is an option also in the car also. It's pretty nice in the vehicle. Now, we saw this car here. Let's see the GS350. Let's go right over here to the brand new GS350 2013. This car here was completely redesigned. For one, it's a wide body stance. It's about three inches wider than the previous year. Also, you have a mean, aggressive look where the pinnacle of luxury meets sport. Now you have a lot of power in this car, they wrapped up the engine, you have LED lights here making it real nice, the HID lights also, the spindle grille, the more aggressive, much more aerodynamic. You look at the hood, a lot of lines in the vehicle, uh, nose dive on the bottom, wind comes up, pressure in the back of the car, not in the pressure compartment where your ears at, which is pretty nice. Nice style uh, aluminum brush wheels, the chrome polish which is pretty nice. You have here also lights indicators on the side which is real nice also. You have a smart key also, which is a pretty nice feature. Walk up to the car, palm in the handle, car unlocks, the lights come on, no steps in puddles, which is pretty nice. Door opens up, comfortable seat. The seat actually hugs you in when you sit on it. It wraps around you, which is very nice. It's a vehicle you can have luxury and smoothness. You're talking heated and cool seats, a humongous 12.8 uh, uh, screen, which is navigation and a multimedia center. You can use actually your apps, Facebook apps. You have a uh, Bing, you have My Places, all kind of things with the vehicle. You have Bluetooth audio, Bluetooth regular cell phone, and also you have a voice command feature which is amazing. It understands casual speech. It understands English, French, and Spanish. It's pretty nice. Now, steering wheel here, sport style, is contoured to your hand. They redesigned it, of course, small on the bottom, wide up top, and the handles here give you much more control of the car. You see here you have, uh, the white stitching with the contrast of black seats. You have three different modes, up to four different modes depending on the model you pick out. You have an eco mode, gives you much better gas mileage and the whole dashboard turns blue. You have the regular mode, which is the standard mode where car drives, and the sport mode. Everything turns red, transmission revs up a lot more, and on the additional F-Sport model, you have available rear suspension steering. Meaning the rear tires will turn with the right tires, give you much more control, much more cornering, much more handling. And the vehicle from previous year is lighter. Now it's lighter but much more rigid, it's a lot safer, has more airbags than before, and extremely strong. Comfortable back seats, the wood trim you see in the car. All nice wood finish. You have also a back sunshade that hides right here into the back of the car. Comes up from the back sun. The backup camera is enormous. It's huge and you have light indicators. Only that, you have a trunk lit indicator. So when you're backing up, you see a red light in the navigation screen. Tells you where the actual trunk is going to open up. So you know where to stop. Great feature. The dual pipes wrap inside the, uh, the actual exhaust, uh, actually inside the bumper, I'm sorry. So it looks a lot nicer, a lot more stylish, like the LS model we have. And the vehicle here is very powerful. Ramp up the horsepower, 306 horsepower, and it feels like it goes a lot faster. Real torquey, great for handling. Exceptional driving in the car. This vehicle here, you'll fall in love with. Uh, you're talking about a vehicle that has everything here. You're talking navigation with the actual Lexus um, Easy Touch, like a mouse. Little keypad on the bottom right there, if you see it, real easy. You can customize the, sensi the sensitivity of that. How tough, how soft you want it. 
real diverse, real spacious. Everyday car, weekend car, high-end dining car, whatever you want. The GS is one of the top-notch vehicles out there. Have a good day.